Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different to how we have done the previous ones because they've just released their very first big update, which I'm actually really looking forward to testing out. So, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and become part of my awesome subscriber squad. All the cool kids are doing it, so you should too. And hit that notification bell so that way you can always be the first to know as soon as I upload a video. Now, the first thing that I've noticed that they've put in is a roadmap. So, that's what we're going to click on because these things are awesome for us YouTubers because it allows us to bring you updates on what's coming out in the future without actually having to go and research it. So, it makes our lives so much easier. So, let's check it out. So, what have we got? April 2019. Oh, that's this month. New Faction Dynasty. You can click to open it in browser, but we're not going to because then that way it could be a nice little surprise for us in future videos. But we will read about it still. So the Dynasty Faction is making its entrance with new units, a cool new map and campaign levels coming later this month. So that should actually be, uh, that should be pretty soon because we're getting towards the end of the month now. So definitely looking forward to that. So let's check out the other stuff. So what have we got? Roadmap, what's to come in the future? Factions, maps, features. All these will come in updates during early access before full release. Now, I like that, but I don't really care about full release. I would suggest just buying the game now because it's absolutely awesome anyway. So why not get it? But let's check them out anyway. So what have we got? Factions, five new factions. Well, we know that Dynasty is coming later this month anyway, so that's good. Renaissance. That should actually, that should be quite interesting because that's bringing in actual rifles. At the moment, we've got long distance weapons, but they're just arrows or spears. Whereas that should be the start of like sort of rifles coming into it. Pirates sounds absolutely awesome. I love pirates, but I don't know how they're going to do it. Like, are they going to do ship battles? Because that would actually be awesome if they did it in the water where you can actually put different ships down. But I don't know if they would, but I'm looking forward to cannons. If they don't put cannons in, I will never forgive them because pirates need cannons and cannons are awesome. And then we've got question mark, question mark. So I'm guessing maybe that's going to be a sort of modern time and then that one's going to be future because in the alpha, they actually had future levels, which obviously they've taken out for this now, but it was a sort of neon Tron type thing with laser weapons. So definitely can't wait for that. And several secret miscellaneous units. Now, they have actually already put three into it, but we're going to come back to that in a second because that's what this video is going to be about. So, let's move on to maps. All new factions will launch with new maps themed around them. Next faction that will launch is Dynasty. Yeah, we know that. That's fine. And then features, new features. Unit creator. Now, I'm looking forward to that, but I'm hoping that it's not just going to be the simple, basic where you could just change the health of a unit. I'm hoping you can maybe take weapons from one unit and give them to another one because I'd love to create a sort of halfling one so they can jump around but give them a sword so they can slice at the same time. That would be absolutely awesome. Faction creator. So that's obviously just going to be taking different units and putting them into one faction so you don't have to have them all spread out. So that, that should be quite good. Battle creator. Now, I'm going to guess that's to do with the Steam Workshop. Because at the moment, obviously, we could go into sandbox mode and just create a battle. So I'm guessing battle creator, the same as campaign creator, will be Steam Workshop. Where you can obviously upload your battles, you can download other people's ones, and see if you can beat them. And then unit possession. Now, we don't know if that's going to be first person or third person. But it's basically where you can take control of the unit walk around with them and use the weapon yourself. So that actually seems really interesting as well. So let's go back because we need to go into sandbox mode because as I said, there's three new units that have been added, but to get them, you have to find their secret weapons hidden throughout levels. So I've already checked through the, the levels and I've already found them, but not collected them. So it'll be a lot easier for me to show you exactly where they are. So that's what we're going to do. What we need to do is go to Sandbox, and then the first one is in Medieval 1, so let's go over to that. And now that we are in Medieval 1, let's um, go find it. So this is where it starts, yeah? So all you need to do is press F, 
and then that will allow you to fly around and then you want to go over to these trees over here and in there somewhere will be this little chop down tree a little stump with a weapon in it so I don't actually know how to pick it up I'm assuming oh okay you just go close enough and it picks it up I didn't have to click anything you just had to get close enough stay near it and then it picks it up so we have unlocked the executioner so what we're going to do is pick up the other two ones and then we'll go test them out so let's uh move on to the next one so if we press f again we can get back to this bit go into maps and then the next one is in medieval 2 now once you've loaded up into medieval 2 you want to obviously press f again fly along and you want to just go over to this little tower thing and fly into the window and we can go in and there we go takes a while to pick it up but we got it and that is the mace spinner which actually okay I'm, I'm looking forward to that one if it's what I think it is that could be a lot of fun so let's move on and grab the last one and I've noticed there's a lot of chickens around, which I'm assuming is because it's Easter. So, I suppose that's the right time to say, I hope you guys had a good Easter. <laughs> so, let's move on and pick up the last one. No point standing around in this map at the moment. We might as well just go pick up the last one. And that is in Ancient One. So, they're all quite close together. Now, press F again. And... If I remember correctly, it's over on this tower. And it does take a while to fly there. There we go. And we have a bow. Come on. There we go. Oh, Artemis. I like Artemis. That's another one from Greek mythology. Awesome. So, now that we've got all three of them, what we're going to do is go into one of the... Uh, other sandbox ones I don't really know which one to use for it because simulation is a little bit boring so do we try using one I need one that's a bit more open really than that that's all too closed off so I'm thinking maybe go to what's in the ancient sandbox oh nice this one should do us perfectly nice open space not much in the way still looks quite pretty rather than just using simulation so yeah this one should be quite good so what do we have oh that is another thing that i noticed with their new update is that they've actually put the names of the different factions above each one of these now so we can actually see what's happening i'm guessing maybe they didn't do that because they wanted these to be a surprise but that's actually really handy because i've kept calling that one prehistoric rather than tribal so it just helps me out a little bit and they've put in a unit counter as well so instead of having to calculate how many you've put down using the gold, you can now obviously see how many you've put down. So if I just put one down, 60 gold, but one unit. So that makes it a lot easier for setting up battles. So let's remove him. And then we need to go to secret, because this is where our new people should be. So we've got the executioner, the mace spinner, and Artemis. So let's get started with the uh, executioner, because... I don't think he's going to be that good because he looks quite boring. But we'll put him down and we'll see how he does anyway. So what do we put him up against? Should we just start him against just a clubber? Let's test that out. So let's start and we'll just get into it. I don't know why I put that into slow motion so early. But there we go. So what do we do? Okay. Well, he killed it straight away. So it must be quite a strong attack then. Although they are quite weak, these guys. But that was just a little test. He does take a while to swing it, though. So I'm wondering whether he's actually going to be able to do much damage with that if you put more people in. So let's put in... Let's just do five. Five clubbers against the Executioner, and we'll see how he does. I don't see him doing that well, to be honest. He's going in for a swing. Oh, he did take out two. He took out two of them. And now he's just laying on the floor and they're not hitting him. Uh, he's, he's not dead yet. That, that's a good sign. But because it's a long weapon, yeah. 
because it's a long weapon, he couldn't really get decent swings on it, and he swings it quite slow, so he actually still lost. So he's really not that good. I don't really know where his specialty would be, like what he'd be good at taking out, to be honest. So, should we put him up against... Let's put him up against the king. I know he's going to die straight away, but let's do it anyway, because the king is quite tough. So, Oh, okay, the weapon got stuck in the king's face. Um... Mr. King, you should be dead. He still won. He had a, an axe stuck in his face, and he still won. So, yeah, the executioner, not that good. I don't think I'm going to do any more testing with him. He just seems really, really boring. So, we're not going to use him anymore. We'll just get rid of him. So, the next one, the one that I was looking forward to the most, Mace Spinner. So, this is what we got. He's got two maces, and I'm going to assume he just spins around in circles. Like a little fidget spinner. So, what do we put him up against? I'm thinking... Where are they? Where's my little headbutt people? There we go. I'm thinking they're headbutt people. Because that should just be really fun. So, let's put down... Let's, let's do 10 to start with and we'll just see what happens. He might die, he might win, we don't know what he's like. But we're just going to go for it. So, they're going to jump at him. Uh, they've completely bundled him. But, by the looks of it, he did kill... No, did he kill one? He is going crazy. He is awesome. I swear he's killed quite a lot of them already. And I absolutely love his attack. It's like human baseball. That is absolutely awesome. And he won. So that was over very quickly. So, I guess there's only one thing for it then. Let's add more. Let's go for 50. They should kill him. But it should be quite fun to watch. So they're all going to jump on him. I mean, every single one. I love the fact that he just spins it. Like, he practically just dodges all of them. That is all he's doing is just dodging them because of his spin. It's like a little dodge bullet time type thing. It's awesome. But he, he is whacking them. Is he killing them all as soon as he hits them? I mean, he's been taken down now, but he's still there. Let's let it speed up, because he, he's just awesome when you speed it up. Look at... It just spins so fast. That is crazy. And I've completely lost him. He's just been bundled. So, he did die, which we kind of expected. We did put him up against a lot of people. But he did kill a lot of them as well. So, should we turn this into a proper battle? Let's do... 100... Of the little jumpy guys. And then... We'll grab some more of him, and we'll add ten of them. Let's see how that goes. Look at them go. They spin so fast. This is awesome. What's actually happening? Should we slow it down? Because they spin so fast, I can't really tell what's going on. But I think a lot of people are dead. I think we've killed a lot of them. And we have lost, what, one, maybe two red? But they are absolutely awesome. Look at this guy just going. He's not even near anyone. And he's just spinning like a loony. Oh no, I think that one's still alive. I think he was hitting that. That is absolutely awesome. Look at them. We're losing quite a few red now. Oh no, they're getting back up. Um, I don't really know who's still alive. I think they're just trying to get through the pile of them. Um, guys? What are you doing? Guys? Calm down. You're going to end up killing each other. <laughs> they spin so fast. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, I'm hoping when they bring in Unit Creator, you can up their speed. Because that would just be absolutely insane if you could do that. I'm definitely looking forward to testing that out if they do that. And we won. So they are very powerful. We lost a few of them. I wish at this point we could actually see how many died. That would be quite handy. Because they've obviously put the counter in, but they should keep it up while you're playing through, so you can see exactly what's going on. But yeah, that was, that was awesome. I love that. That unit is amazing. Now, we do obviously have to test them against some of the powerful units. I don't want to, but I suppose we have to. They are really fun, but... Let's, um... Let's try some knights, because they have shields, they're quite strong... And we'll just do 10v10. Let's go for it. 
Um, one of their shields is stuck. Oh, look at them go. What's go No, they're ganging up. They're ganging up. Go on, take them out. Take them out. Come on. Oh, no, I think we're going to lose. I think the knights just... They have too much health, and obviously we can't get past their shields. Did we actually kill any of them? No. We didn't kill any knights. So they're definitely not good against shields. But they are very fun to use. So I don't care if they're not that good against the shields. What else can we use? I wonder how they do against flying enemies. Because obviously they can't really hit them. So let's do that. We've got the Valkyries swooping in. Uh, is the Valkyrie killing them? No, they're still alive. We don't really know what's happening though. We've got one just running. Where is he going? I really don't like the fact that some of them just abandon the fight. Like, that guy's dead. Where are you going? Let's go back over here because I think, yeah, we've only got one left. Which we should end up winning. Yep, we won. So they're actually quite good against the flying ones. I mean, we lost a couple. But they're still quite strong against them. I like this unit. This may be my new favourite one. Let's reduce it down to one. Get rid of those and we're going to see what they can do against... Oh no, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to put a mammoth in and see if we can kill a mammoth with spinners. I'm going to assume we're going to need a lot of them. Let's take out five. So we've got 50 mace spinners versus a mammoth. Let's go. Let's see, if the, let's see what they can do against a mammoth. They should win. Yeah, they won straight away. Okay, so the Mammoth is actually quite weak and the Spinner is awesome. So, for our last one to do with the Mace Spinner, I was going to put in some different units, but I like this battle with the Mammoths. So, we're going to put in 10 Mammoths. Why not? Let's just go for it. Here we go. Are they going to be able to take down 10 Mammoths? I don't think they will. Um... That guy's huge. What has happened to him? I've got a giant mace spinner. What the hell is going on? I've actually got a giant unit. How has that? How has that happened? Like, it's amazing. Like he could proper take him down now, but I don't know how that happened. And I wish he'd stand up so I could get a decent picture of him because that'd make an awesome thumbnail. But I can't get one. Let's let it continue. Come on, stand up, mate. Stand up. Can we um, get you going properly? No, you fell down again. We're going to have to let it play and hope he... Oh, he's been crushed now. He is still alive, though. I just need the mammoth to get out of the way before they kill this last one. Come on, mate. Get up. Get up. Please. Oh, that's not fair. That would have made an awesome thumbnail. But that was pretty cool. They took down all the mammoths. And we ended up with a giant unit. So, yeah. Let's, um... I don't think we're going to be able to top that. So let's clear those. And let's move on to Artemis. Now, obviously Artemis is from Greek mythology. She is the daughter of Zeus. And she's probably most famous for the story of Acteon. Where he saw her bathing in the woods while he was out hunting. She then turned him into a stag. And he was killed by his own hunting dogs. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty brutal but she's awesome so we're gonna have a quick little look at her i don't know how she's gonna fire two arrows well two bows at the same time and they should have really put a moon on her like a crescent moon because that was her symbol but we'll let them off that's fine so yeah what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do father versus daughter we're gonna have to put in good old uncle zeus and cousin Artemis. In case you're wondering why it's Uncle Zeus and cousin Artemis, I am Triton, obviously son of Poseidon. Poseidon was brother of Zeus, so that's how it all works. So, let's do Artemis versus Zeus. Daughter versus father. Let's go. Whoa, that is a lot. Of... Okay. Do you think you could have waited until I did a bit of talking? You've just ruined my entire video, Artemis. 
terrible. Well, <laughs> she fires a lot of arrows. And that's actually pretty cool. Like, she just killed Zeus in one hit. Like, I don't really know what else to say about that. I was hoping it'd go on for a bit longer. But obviously not. So I guess we come out of that. Um, I mean, the price difference is quite huge. You've got 2,000 versus 5,340. She is worth a lot, and now I can see why. She just annihilated Zeus. So, because people always say about the different strengths of different things in their clickbait videos, let's do the mammoth next, and then we'll do the king afterwards. Let's see how quickly she can kill a mammoth. Whoa, she fires really quickly as well. That is a lot of arrows, and it's dead. It didn't even get to move. That is crazy. She is so powerful. She fires so quickly and that many arrows. I think she may actually be OP. I think she might be way too overpowered. Right, okay, well, she killed the mammoth. So, I guess now we try for... I always click on the wrong one for the king. I don't know why I always think it's all the way up here when it's actually all the way down there. But let's try the king then. Let's put him in and see how she does. She's fired. Well, he's not dead yet. She's actually missing quite a few of them. Okay, she didn't miss that many that time. So the king actually took, what, the same amount of arrows as the mammoth? Yeah, she fired three shots, hit him three times. So yeah, he hasn't actually got more health than the mammoth, the king, I don't think. But he died pretty quickly. Okay, so what if we actually give him, say, five healers? No, even with the healers. I mean, let's go back. Let's put the healers a little bit closer so they actually start healing straight away before she can... No, she still gets a shot off so fast. I mean, he is being healed now, but... Nope, dead again. Wow. I mean... That's just crazy. Right, let's um, put her back because the problem is she fires so fast that they don't have time to start healing him. So I think that's what's affecting it. So now we've got the healing going on. Nope, still killed him pretty much straight away. That is crazy. She could take him down with that many healers. Well, I guess we need more healers then. We're going to test out how strong she really is. So... Do you know what? Let's let's give him 50 healers. There you go. 50 healers. Get started. <laughs> she should start firing. There we go. Let's follow the arrows. Okay. She missed with quite a lot of them arrows. She fires so fast though. There we go. He's actually surviving quite a bit. He's got a lot of arrows in him. Still dead though. Couldn't even make it there. She is incredible. That is crazy. And if she can just hit them, she should be able to finish them off. There we go. Seriously, all those arrows, ar arrows, arrows that got fired and he got hit by one in the hand and that's what killed him. That is just unfortunate for you, mate. But yeah, she is way too overpowered. So, I guess it's time to see what she can do against an army then. Right. I don't know why I keep trying to delete all of those. I should just click clear. That works a lot better. So, let's create an army. Let's, um... We've, we'll put in 20 squires. Let's put in a couple of knights, because they've got shields, so they can protect. Um, we'll put in a king, of course, with two priests. Don't need any of those. And we'll put in some archers as well. Let's see how she does against an army. Come on. I'm still rooting for her because she is awesome. But is she going to be able to get through these shields? That's the problem. She needs to be able to hit their feet. She's targeting on the f shield, but she needs to get those feet. There we go. Now she should do well. No, she died. The archers got her. Okay, so the archers are still pretty good against her. Well, seeing as that couldn't take down an army... Let's have a little bit of... Nope. Where is it? <laughs> no, nope. Wrong one again. There we go. Let's have a bit of father-daughter time. There we go. Father and daughter. 
going to war together to take down those pesky little humans. Let's go. Zeus died. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I think the arrow, the archers are actually too powerful against these guys. Yeah. Right, okay, well, that kind of ruined my fun. So we're going to take out the um, archers and we'll go now. Because that should be a little bit more entertaining. I wasn't expecting it to be so boring with the archers in, but let's go. I still love Zeus's attack though, that's the problem, but I mean, it's just not as good as hers. He's going to end up dying. I think he died because she shot him in the back. She actually just killed her dad. You're very mean. But very awesome. Absolutely love it. So, what we're going to do is because I want to do a massive battle with these guys, we're going to switch over to simulation mode and reduce all the settings down so we can actually handle the lag. So, let's head over there. Right. So, we have reduced all the settings down, as you can see. So, hopefully it will be able to handle it a bit better. So we are going to grab. No, I can't put in too many Artemis. It'll ruin everything. Let's do 10 Artemis and we're going to go for Mammoths. We're going to put in loads of Mammoths if we can. How many should we go for? 100? 100 Mammoths? Do you reckon 10 Artemis can take down 100 Mammoths? Let's just fill in the gaps. And that way we've got 100. Let's go for the big fight. Here we go. We are getting a lot of lag. But although it's not as much as we've been having. I think it was just a, the initial lag. Look at it. Look how many they're wiping out. Have they just wiped out the entire front row already? They have. They're now trying to shoot the row behind. They've actually wiped out that many already. It's absolutely insane. There's only 10 of them. And they're wiping out that many mammoths in one go. It's crazy. Maybe I spread them out too much. Maybe I should have put them all together. I mean, they're even pushing forward slightly. Although, one thing I have noticed with Artemis is as she fires, it actually pushes her back a little bit. So that's actually quite handy in a fight. Because obviously, that way... She could just keep moving backwards and backwards and backwards. Because that's the problem with most archers. They don't run away from the enemy. So the enemy gets to them and kills them. But that at least that pushes her back slightly. So that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. I, I'm actually really happy with this new update. This is awesome. But yeah, don't forget to like the video though guys. I think it's been absolutely incredible with these new units. They're absolutely insane. And also subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And yeah... I hope you enjoyed it. We should win soon. And saying that, we won. That was absolutely awesome. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.